Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here. I haven't uploaded in a long time. I got sick, I fell down some stairs, I hurt my back, I'm old and whatever. But we're here to talk about Halo. And before we get into more of the, I guess, existential dread that I'm facing with the future of Halo Infinite and the franchise, there is a new event coming out next week. It's the Yappening 2. It's a new event in the sense that it's new. I like it's happening new. It's not really a new event, I guess. Halo had a little teaser for it, didn't really say what was happening, other than the balance of power in the galaxy, know the universe is about to change forever, and the yapping has always been like a quirky, you know, kind of funny, silly type of event, and I don't expect anything different. I'm sure we'll get some new Forge maps and a new playlist or something like that. But really, I've been thinking about Halo 5. I saw a tweet that was like, Halo 5 was not fun or something. And uh, it just made me think about the dark time of the Halo content drought between like the end of Halo 5 and waiting for Halo Infinite. It being delayed, how there was just like no new content. Like MCC came to PC and stuff and that was like... The only thing I feel like that kept the Halo community together and kind of kept the uh, game relevant. It is nuts to me that we spent like two years playing old Halo games again in the middle of the 2020s. Maybe not the middle of the 2020s, but... And recently I've seen other people like talk about, when do you think the next Halo game is going to come out? And Grunt.API was like, which one, the mainline one or the spinoff game? And everybody's freaking out and thinking that there's going to be a game next year. It does feel different, though, with Halo Infinite because of how Forge and the community and user-generated content is being incorporated into the game. Being able to have content like maps constantly coming into the game is good. It definitely prolongs that content drought stretch feeling, I guess. But when we're not getting like new sandbox stuff, new vehicles, new weapons, it is still kind of lackluster. Like I'm not sure that anybody's gonna come back just because there's like new maps in squad battle if they've like uninstalled the game. The only thing that I really could imagine is like two new vehicles and three classic weapons are coming back. Like something that would be like really game changing. Cosmetics aren't gonna do it. New maps aren't gonna do it. Unless there's like a huge big mode coming that's not firefight but like warzone 2.0 or something it just feels like it's prolonging the inevitability that there is going to be another halo game coming out and it might be you know even if it's a, a spin-off game and it's only single player i don't really know what that means for halo infinite at this point I don't know what type of, you know, crew they have working on Infinite in terms of content. Sounds like they have a couple of uh, cakes in the oven when it comes to, like, how many Halo games are supposed to be coming out. You know, they said that there were multiple ones. So I don't really know. So it's kind of, like, hard to get on here and make Halo content when I don't really know what to make Halo content on. I know, right? That's a, that's a content creator problem. But even, like, I found myself playing less and less Halo Infinite just because like I've I don't know I've played so much and maybe I just need a break but that's really why I wanted to make this video I want to gauge I guess what my community and people I'm sorry that my chair is squeaking so much but I want to gauge what you know my community is doing are they still playing Halo are you enjoying Halo Infinite did you uninstall Halo Infinite would anything ever make you want to come back if you did uninstall like please let me know in the comments down below this also might be good for, I don't know, if anybody from 343 looks at the video and sees the comments and like, these are the reasons why you aren't playing. These are the reasons that would make you come back. You know, it's different for me uh, because I do make content on the game. Uh, it's hard to just look at it from like a player point of view. And I really do appreciate having a community that will be honest with me. But yeah, I've been trying to think of like, what kind of content other than just like news and leaks and stuff can I make that's entertaining, that would make people want to tune in, and I understand that a lot of people do watch my videos for just the news side of stuff, and that's fine. You know, Halo, especially in Halo Infinite, doesn't have like a fun mode like Warzone where you can do like challenges and, you know, unique loadouts and funny fun things to do because i feel like nobody really wants to watch like a random dude on youtube go 
30 and 5 and ranked. It was crazy. Look at me use my bandit rifle on the same map. You know, it's just not as unique and I don't I don't watch that content and I don't want to make content that I wouldn't watch. So, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, the channel might be getting a little slower when it comes to putting out content. I also am just terrified to make content on anything else so if i ever did i'd probably just make a new channel i don't know that's gonna do it for the video ladies and gentlemen let me know if you're excited for the yapping let me know how you feel about halo and if we're gonna head into this dark content drought timeline again remember when they said this game was supposed to last for 10 years pepperidge farm remembers that's gonna do it for the video if you enjoyed make sure you like the make sure you leave a like down below if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you around the ring peace